Hi, I'm Sundata Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction C++ Programming Series. Our topic for today is about linked list array. Now, I already created Lecture 44 folder. It is also the name of the program. At the same time, it is also the solution name which you can open your file. Okay, you can point to source files, right click right here, point to add, then click new item. And then right here at the add new item, you can click C++ file, then below we have the name and the name is source, we need to replace this and we need to add some data underscore uh, comprog2 underscore lecture 44 then we can click add okay right now we have here we can uh, zoom this to 200 percent so that it's visible for you okay let's do the code again our topic is a linked list array now uh, let's uh, proceed with the code so we have pound include so we have io stream then we have using namespace std and then integer main open and close parenthesis then open and close curly brace as, as the beginning and end of the body okay right here we're going to declare a data type which is integer and then we're going to identify the the array which is considered to be the list of number for example we have two uh, four six one three five six seven eight and nine okay so this is one two three four five and another five because we have in ten and at the end we're going to end that kind of statement okay let's continue and uh, since we already displayed the uh, what they call the set of uh, an array okay so this is what you call in mathematic a set okay and sometimes we are putting up uh, what do you call something like a subsets okay like this and if you're going to ask me if it is uh, allowed then I'm going to say that it is allowed okay this is a what do you call subsets of an array but right now we're creating only the set okay of the array list so this is a set and um, it is considered to be one set only another is it identifies that this is considered to be a list okay why because it is a uh, display of a number connected to each other there's no spaces there's no no blank okay that's why it's called list and it's considered to be 10 okay under the storage we have 10 storage and we can put those number on that storage because the numbers are list right here are considered to be properly enough to be put on the 10 storage we created again remember that uh, an array is an storage okay now let's continue so we have c out so we have um, elements of uh, array list okay, the elements of array list then we have um, set the width I'm going to make this 25 and we have the result okay it should be the result and we're going to end the line that's it 
and remember that uh, set w is from the io manip so we can put it right here okay pound include so we have io manip io manip is a manipulation so can you see that it has been uh, gone because of it is the uh, the set w with is written in the inside of the io manip that okay let's continue so we have the for statement and we're going to declare data type and that data type is considered to be okay so pambilang which is equal to zero then bilang which is less than 10 and then pambilang plus plus which is the increment then close parenthesis and then we can put it here a display so we have set w so let's put here for example 15 and then pambila it will display the 0 to, to 9 0 to 9 it will display 0 to 9 and uh, we have set w which is 25 then we have uh, we're going to identify the the array okay so that's it and you will notice what will be the display of the array to display the array remember that array are connected to conditions okay that's why the variable uh, on the condition must be put up inside of the array name content okay so we're going to put here pambilang that's it that's the idea of how to use the array to display its list okay and then of course we're going to put return zero because that is the end of the program the end of the execution okay so uh, let's check this out so we can identify what will be the result of this click debug then start without debugging okay we have here the result look at that so we have from zero uh, integer as pambilang we have the result of two so what what I did is I, I put up all the lists in the number of the increment number 0 to 9. So that is the idea. So I displayed all of the lists under array. And uh, that's all for today. Thank you and good luck.